Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Hello, little time it is. The Dutch is in the house. Check this out. We got a long one today, but first off, we got an exciting one, you know, in the WBA. But first off, before we get started, I want to start off with a PSA. Yes, a public service announcement to the WNBA. Please, WNBA, you have a lot of more people watching now, a large quantity of people watching now. Please don't put the headline on in the middle of the other games. <laughs> I was watching the Connecticut server Seattle Storm because you know that's where I'm from, from born in Seattle, I was raised in Florida. And I was enjoying that game, and by halftime, I had to turn it off. So I'm not even going to lie to y'all. This is going to be a short one when it comes to the other games because I actually did not watch them. I watched the uh, Connecticut Sun and the Seattle Storm the first half, but then you know that Indiana Fever versus Chicago Sky came out. Oh, ARC, see, I had to cut it off. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, this is mostly going to be highlights and box scores, but we go to cover the uh, Chicago Sky and the other fever in full. So let's start off with, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead and start off with these highlights and stuff like that. And um, yeah, let's, let's get right to it, man. Let's get right to it. It's about to go down. First off, we saw the New York Liberty. <laughs> they hit the Atlanta Dream with the clapping tin. <laughs> Oh, wow. You know what I'm talking about? They clapped the United, the, the Atlanta Dream. You know, it was led by two double-doubles from John Quell Jones and Sabrina Ionescu with 15 points, 11 rebounds, and a game-leading 26 and 11 assists, respectively. So that'd be Sabrina dropped uh, uh, 26 points, 11 assists, and John Quell Jones dropped 15 boards, 15 points, 11 boards. So the Liberty beat the Dream down. 96 to 75. In addition to that, we have a change in the standings that we'll get to next coincidentally. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm looking at my notes right now. And you know what we saw in the next game? That storm was way too much for the sun to shine as Seattle beats Connecticut by a score of 72 to 61. I mean, come on, what you expect? You know, you think about you, you think you think the storm's about to lose at home on the 25th anniversary in front of the legend Sue Bird while she's in the house? Stop it. Get some help. Stop it. Now, now, that is what that was this is what I was referring to when I said that we're gonna get back to the next game. Uh, referencing the first game that we covered is because that the impact of this game that it has on the Connecticut Sun, right? With this loss, sorry, what, that it has on the New York Liberty. With this loss, the Connecticut Sun fall down to number two. <laughs> in the standings while the New York Liberty rise to number one in the WNBA. So now we had to flip flop. The number two seed became the one seed and the one seed became the two seed. So next up we have the Washington Mystics. The Washington Mystics, they beat the Dallas Wings uh, led by a full team effort from the Washington Mystics at a score of 92 to 84. So we had that we see the Mystics beating the Dallas Wings. Now, let me take a deep breath because we about to go crazy. What? We had the much anticipated. What? Highly celebrated what? rookie showdown. Oh, yeah. What we all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. The Indiana Fever versus the Chicago Sky. This game lived up to all the hype. This game was more back and forth than a toxic relationship. You know what I'm talking about? You know how they be going back and forth. Uh, that was uh, all up until uh, the third, three minutes left in about the third quarter. Yeah, and th about three minutes left in the third quarter, and the fever took off with it, and that lead ballooned all the way up to 15 points. So I was like, oh boy, they had a fever for the runaway with this one, and, and that, it seemed like it was all over. But right when it seemed like it was all over, oh, you almost had it. You're going to be quicker than that. AR and the C and the Chicago Sky came roaring back. A couple of defensive stops, a few turnovers here and there, <laughs> and we had a tie going with three minutes left into the fourth quarter. And of, of and of course, the go ahead bucket came by no other than Angel Reese. <laughs> and the Sky never looked back. They won by a whopping one point. <laughs> <laughs> they won by one point, man. And that's crazy because them winning by one point, the crazy part is if you've been keeping up, this is the second time that a game between the Chicago Sky and the Indiana Fever has been decided by one point. Yeah. Um, you know, the other one had Indiana Fever winning by one point earlier, you know. And AR and Cardosa both recorded a double-double. You know we love them double-doubles. And this being AR's eighth consecutive double-double. Damn. 
I'm sorry. Which is the current record for w, for double doubles by a rookie. And Kennedy Carter also contributed 23. You know, they, they went crazy, man. Angel Reese, her double double that she dropped was a 25.16 rebound double double. <laughs> That is wild, man. And CC, not to be undone. Don't don't get it twisted. You know, Kayla Clark had to show out too. She also dropped a double double, scored 17 points and 13 assists. Oh. <laughs> And then Kelsey Mitchell, she led the team. She was balling out. She led the fever in points with 24 points and, and a contribution of 18 from Aaliyah Boston. So this was a great effort from them. But, you know, this night belonged to Angel Reese, you know. This, this night belonged to Angel. And, and guess what she did? She became just the sixth rookie in WNBA history to record a stat line with at least 25 points and 15 points. Rebound. So she heard her twenty five. Uh, sorry, did I say that wrong? Yeah, she she was the first rookie to record to record a stat line with at least fifty. Hold on. <laughs> She was the first rookie to record a stat line with at least 25 points and 15 rebounds. <laughs> and we saw the sky beat the fever, 88 to 87. However. Let this be known. Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever still lead the season series between the two at two to one. You know, so the Indiana Fever, they won the first two games and now Chicago Sky, they won the last one. So I cannot wait to see the next one. Good Lord willing. And as just as Caitlin Clark said, as CeCe said, it should probably be in the United Center. You know what I'm talking about? And don't. Don't. Do not. Put this game on in the middle of other games. You dumbass. It's kind of like the other games too, you know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man, that's it right there for the WNBA recap. This night was great. The the, the rookie sensations, CC and AR did not disappoint. Indiana Fever and Chicago Sky went crazy. And it, it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was a barn burner, you know. It was a very close game. They saw Chicago Sky winning. That's it for the doctor. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Y'all be easy. God bless. Peace. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.